have our second day of competition unfolding. Heat two of round two, hitting the lineup with last year's world champion Adriano de Souza up against one of the rookies in Alex Ribeiro, who hasn't made it out of this round this year. So Alex, super hungry. Adriano, I think by his own admission, would uh, would say that he struggled for that motivation, that hunger this year after winning his maiden world title. Is and uh, we have just seen a heat restart here. No ways ridden. 15 minutes into the exchange, we're going to give these guys another shot with 35 minutes on the clock here. Ah, that was the most legitimate restart I've ever seen. I don't know if they one wave broke. That was Lake Chopa right there. So uh, an honest restart, and the boys will have a fresh 35. The current world number four, Adriano de Souza, going up against the current world number 38 in Alex Ribeiro, a rookie. Alex exploded into the top 10 on the QS last season with a win in a 10,000 at Sakurama, covering up some big run-ins with the Reef. Oh, there you go. There was a little wave that went on Ritt. Um, Adrian on Souza passed it up. Maybe he was just a touch too deep. You can see that thing actually spat. So an opportunity lost. Here we go. Some movement now. Alex Ribeiro holding the inside position. And he gets himself in an awkward spot there, falling between the bottom of the wave and the lip. He looks okay though, he's gonna get back out there. Adriano, that works in his favor. He's got priority now. And he's looking at this one. Stalling, bit of cover there. Quick tube. And he's gonna throw down a nice big backhand float as well, but doesn't quite stick it. Really looking to add some flair as he leaped off the roof. Um, and it barely got to his toes. Let's see Adriano first. Just an okay barrel. Uh, because he didn't disappear for too long, um, it's going to keep the score pretty small. Uh, I think maybe the floater could have helped a little bit, um, but score is starting to trickle through. And let's see, an airdrop right here in that outside rail poked, even the nose kind of poked. So because Alex didn't have that real momentum uh, and that very like positive paddling down the face, he was a little bit hesitant. He got hung up. And once you get hung up, you become part of the lip. You don't get that momentum you need to break through under the barrel. Uh, put together by the World Surf League production team, featured Adriano returning back to uh, his little hometown as world champion. People had nothing but good, good things to say about him as Alex takes off here. Just a little cover up at the start of this ride. And now trying to add some points with some big turns on the inside. So in the last 20 minutes, the boys, they need to kick it into gear, Ronnie, uh, and, and find those proper waves out here where they can throw down some big scores. Because right now, they're going to feel like, I guarantee both of them, that these are not keepers. They're going to want to throw away these scores. And we were referencing that great profile piece on World Surf League. There's, uh, there's a lot of good profiles there. Let's check it out. Adriano D'Souza getting back to Brazil after becoming world champion. We'll get to that in a moment. Let's see what Alex Ribeiro can do here, chasing the lead. Awkward barrel, a few lumps in that face. Let's go to the piece. Um, that have come through in, in kind of flying colors. So Alex, uh, I think for him, uh, as we see him pounding for this wave, he's going to have to figure it out pretty quick here. Well, let's see if he can do better than two. He currently needs a 1.01. Decent barrel may be the best of this heat so far. And then a little cut back to boot. Um, but it really it does boil down to surfing. He does seem like he's been a slightly handcuffed this year. You know, we haven't really seen him open up and be explosive or aggressive, really committed. He's kind of been nursing his turns. And, um, and you know, a lot of the heats that he's gone down in, the guys have kind of just had their way and outperformed them. So, you know, hopefully for Alex, rather than, you know, really getting focused on all the numbers and what he needs to do to qualify, uh, he can kind of look at some videotape and, and try and focus on his surfing on his last wave and maybe Adriano is starting to think back to this event last year when he was in first position he lost out to Bruno Santos in the third round. Yeah and this is going to be Matt Wilkinson's uh, program right here coming up in the next round he's going to have Bruno Santos who's an absolute beast out here and uh, he's just so comfortable look there's that double handed stall on his forehand Bruno's extremely skilled and too bright it's such an art form and he knows how to optimize a barrel out here at Chopes. It's interesting, isn't it? With a little less movement and just subtle adjustments, Bruno just... Adriano managed to get himself a 2.7, but it was Alex Ribeiro who got the first wave of the exchange. He had a 1.5, Ross. It didn't help his situation. Hey, he looks a little bit flustered out there, just on, on kind of a 
a junky wave, but he didn't have priority. A bigger wave here, you can see with that low tide wave kind of swinging out to sea. So Adriano picking up on, uh, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and just do a couple of off the lips. There's no barrel to be had. So again, even though Adriano has the lead, look at that score line, Ronnie. Uh, this is still anyone's heat. If uh, You never know, if Alex gets that one perfect wave that comes through and throws down an eight, you know, he could shut this thing out. Um, so it's going to make for a pretty crazy close, closing five minutes here, Ronnie. I really feel like there will be potentially just that one quality wave, and whoever gets it is going to win. Well, live action now, Adriana he is just fighting that wave, trying to get as much time behind the curtain as possible. But he doesn't make it, and it leaves the door open for Alex as he drives out on the open face, showing a little bit more mongrel on this wave. Letting go of some uh, nice turns here. Needs to be aggressive with the end section, but just loses his fins. They're seizing the opportunity and really going after it. Well, I, I definitely was confused a little bit by this choice right here for Alex. Saying, you know, this wave did not have nice shape to it. And there was definitely no barrel on it. Um, so, you know, he had to have known that even if he rips this wave to pieces, there's only maybe a three or a four in it. Um, so right now, you know, he's going to definitely want to step it up with quality of waves. Um, sneaky little inside barrel here for Adriano. Almost pulled off a, a score. Uh, but those inside bowls, they, they really run out of water quick. They get dry, and you can see Adriano kind of lost his grip with his fins. Since Tahiti, way back in 2014. That's a long time ago. That just tells you how consistent he is. Let's see if Alex finds himself a little ramp. Well, just that a throwaway turn at the end of that ride. De Souza having a look at this one, doesn't see the points in it. And he's banking on a decent set wave coming his way with just on a minute and 50 seconds to go. Um, you know, I think that it was, even though this is just a crummy small little wave, you know, right here is a little ramp coming at him. If he would have, you know, if he was at home at his, his home break beach, you know, beachy, he would have probably popped a clean air. Wow, this is big. Uh, you know, we ha he had a few minutes to catch this wave and uh, he's been iced out. And here he goes. Well, he's behind it. He's deep. He's caught behind. And that's going to be priority gone to Alex. Let's see if the 26-year-old makes a move down to Adriano now. He does. He is desperate for the win. De Souza's getting another shot on the inside here. And again, just caught up in the lift. 25 seconds to go. But De Souza, he must just be super frustrated. He's paddling out of the impact zone with 10 seconds remaining. And it looks like he is going to fall out of the mix here in round two. Absolute shocker of a heat for uh, really both these guys, but Adriano, he's going to be numb. You know, uh, I think he really is going to be kicking himself that they went way up the reef and kind of played around at the beginning, fighting for priority. Um, you know, it's not the fight that he wanted to put up here. A heat score total of 6.23 is enough for Alex Ribeiro to get his first round two win this year.